Hey Diane, it's Manny G reporting to you early Sunday morning. Get the sports out of the way quickly. Uh, and you might see some news with JD Martinez coming down the pike. Looks like it's unavoidable. There could be some questions with his physical. Um, I just found this out late last night from my partner, Brian Valaro, was the first who had this. And he has said that JD has yet to pass his physical. Now, whether or not that, that voids the contract, I do not know, but that is not a good sign because they've already played three games in spring training and just, I, I hope this isn't going where I think it's going, where the Red Sox medical staff just made another gaffe and gave Dombrowski false reports like Ellsbury and some of these other guys in the past and just to get this right-handed bat signed and they gave a guy money that they know has got injury problems because there's no surprise JD's had injury problems for us whole career. The real reason I wanted to make the Bruins lost last night to Toronto they're not in third place but no way a point behind them they got five games in hand still fine in a fine they're in a fine position. Celtics won last night got back to business beat the Knicks by nine on the road they got today off they Hopefully coming back home. Seems like they haven't played a game at the Garden in forever because of the All-Star break and then the first two back-to-backs being on the road. But I want to make this video about bullying. And I want to talk about bullying real quick. Bullying is not going to be tolerated on my site. I don't tolerate bullying. I don't like bullying. I don't like bullies. And you're not going to gang up on anyone on my page. You're not going to... You're not going to use two or three of your friends to go after one person on my page. That is not going to happen. I'm not going to allow it. The comments will get deleted before it gets to that. Now, there's a difference between bullying and debating. Andrew Mack, yesterday you debated and challenged me with crazy. That is called debating. That is intelligence. That is very good. That is what I need. But. Kyle, even though you're no longer with us, and you'll never be with us again, because you continue to bully Brian, because Brian is a weightlifter who works out on his body and is six foot three, 240 pounds with about 1% body fat. Now, whether or not you're jealous of him, he works his ass off to continue that body, to have that body. Because he goes to the gym every day, and it doesn't matter that he doesn't He's unemployed like me right now. It doesn't matter. The point is, you have some type of jealous fetish that he's now working with me on this and it should be you or it should be Jay or it should be anyone. That stuff will not be talked about on this site. I don't have to explain myself to any of you. And Mr. Paul, very good questions last night with the hobby, uh, noticing the hobby clothes as well as the grandma. I appreciate that. That is helpful. That is what we call knowledge being brought to the page. I just think the first time you did it, you did it as a wise guy with your buddy Jay, and I took it the wrong way, and that's on me. I snapped, I apologized, I booted you, I shouldn't have done it. Jay, I should have booted. Especially when I find out Jay and Brian are cousins. So this whole bullying thing is going on between family members which makes this thing even worse. So, Paul, the last of the Mohegans, you are welcome to stay. If you really think this editing thing is, that, if you think that our stuff is close to being serious, and the reason why you throw these period comment jabs at us, bro, I can't pay you, but if you want to be our editor, I don't even really think any of my four other guys would have a problem with it. Now, it's gonna take some talking to, because right now, even though you really didn't get involved that much with bullying Brian, and Brian is stating that he is one of your good friends, and you guys are really close, and he begged, he begged for me to let you come back. Begged. So whatever he told you, he begged. And it's not an ego problem. It's just I tried to get rid of all of the Bristol problems because of the way you guys treated him for five days. And I'm putting you way down the list. Because even you and me saw eye to eye. And when I told you this was our dream and this was a real life thing, you took it the right way. And you wrote me a nice email and said, 
I have nothing wrong with you guys following your dream. Best of luck to you. And another reason why I checked her was because I don't know if you were making fun of me when I welcomed, in, welcomed your buddy Jay in. And, and I, I took that as an insult because it's almost like, Paul, I'm trying to do this for all the new members, the members that come in and make them feel comfortable. And you're writing LOL and laugh out loud, congratulations to being a dyad. No need for it. I write the welcome notices. I just started doing it the other day. Okay? And I did one for you too. And you said thank you to me. It's to make the new people feel comfortable so they don't feel like this is a place where they don't, they're intimidated and they don't want to talk. That is going against what I'm trying to do. Paul, thank you for both questions last night. Very helpful. And as far as I'm concerned, the past is the past and you're here to stay. Okay? Kyle is not coming back non-negotiable. Jay Bernard is not coming back non-negotiable. And Ryan signed up late last night. I still don't know what his game is, but if he's here to learn, and you can vouch for him, and if I need to tell you what vouch means with your last name, then me and you are two totally different people. You know, find out Ryan's intentions, and if they're good and sincere, because it took him three days to answer me and actually come back in. So I don't know if he's plotting or he really wants to be a part of this and he just thinks that we got off on the wrong foot. If that's the case, don't have a problem with it. But if it's a plot and a scheme to pull more and more people in to attack, you're gonna lose. And you're gonna get you're gonna look foolish doing it. Have a great, great day guys. I'll check in with you later for Bruin Savers. And probably going to do some Red Sox stuff. Going to try to get you more on this J.D. Martinez story that is about to break if it hasn't broken already yet. Thanks.